Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a good day. I have made a couple more of the smaller <clears throat> little journals per request and they're all a little bit different. So these two are the same size. They are five and three quarters by four and a half and they both have 60 pages. And so let's do those first. And they're the faux leather that I've been playing around with. But the covers on these are the some of the scans of the that botanical um, vintage scrapbook that I got. Here, I'll show you. I know some of you have seen this. It's a gorgeous album. And I'm zoomed in real close, so I'm gonna hold it this way. And every single page is gorgeous, gorgeous. They're the real deal. And they all have a little bit of writing on them. And I just started scanning them in. Aren't they pretty? So I scanned a few in. And yes, they will be digis in this shop eventually. I'm, I'm not a pro with the digi thing, so it takes me a minute. But that's what these are. So let's flip through this one first. This one's got an elastic band with a little beaded charm on it. And so here's the front. And here's the back. Here's your spine. And then I've also um, cut down one of the images to make a pocket. And there's a library catalog card in there. And this one's just kind of random. There's some digital stamping. There's some tea stained paper. Some mulberry. Western Union. There's some more mulberry. Some scanned ledger. Some real ledger sheets. There's the middle. Some more ledger. Just simple. You know, something you can toss in your purse or a good gift. And all the corners are rounded. And then this one in the back pocket has got a little tag with some collaging on it. So there is that one. And then this one has got a little glass vial in a dragonfly and the, it really comes off. So be careful if you want to put, so, put something in there and then put a little bit of glue on the cork and stick it back on there so it'll stay. I just wanted to leave it in case the person who got it would like to put something in there. So this one's a little bit darker. Let me show them to you together. So this is a darker version. And leave me some comments below what you guys like, the lighter or the darker. I can't decide. I mean, I like them both. I just don't know which one I like better. There's the pocket on this one. There's a vintage receipt in there. And some of the same pages, some mulberry, some book page, typing page. I'm trying to do this video quick before my husband walks in the door and starts making noise. We'll see how it goes. The middle of this one is a Western Union telegram. And while I'm flipping, I just want to remind everyone, um, there are some items in my shop on sale and I do combine shipping 
and I do refund any overages right when I ship. So I know Etsy doesn't combine it for us, so if you grab more than one thing at a time out of a shop, then it, you know, it looks like you're gonna pay 30 or $40 shipping for two or three little things, so don't fret. I put it all together, weigh it all together, and refund you right away. So there's the back of that one. I am really having fun making these. And these are sealed. They've got four coats of sealer on the inside and outside and the pockets. So they should hold up real nice wherever they may ride around. So there's that one. And then this one, I believe, I got this fabric from Julie at the old design shop. She sent it to me. And the company that prints this fabric used some of her images in it. So I thought that was really nice. So that's, it's a fabric cover. The stitching is on the spine. And there's a couple layers of lace and a book plate. And there's one of the Tim Holtz little pins and some seam binding. Closure, and this one is six inches tall, four and three quarter inches wide, and it has 112 pages. And I left the inside covers, so if you wanted to put pockets or, or even plain, you know. And again, this one is just no theme, just, you know, junky in the junk journal style that we do. Dictionary and mulberry, and more tea stain paper. I'm getting low on paper and it's just been raining and raining here. Some more book page. I love this mulberry paper. Ledger. This is the back side of one of the tags. <clears throat> I just paper clipped it on there. Some more ledger. This is some old notebook paper. I love the way that feels. The other side of the ledger. This is a calendar page from May of 1898 that I scanned in. ledger that I have scanned. <clears throat> and Western Union Telegram. There's a really grungy page. I love that. The grungier the better. And there's the back. And this is Tim Holtz fabric on the inside of this one. So there those are. And those will be in the shop today. Be sure to look in there. I think there's a few things on sale that might be ending soon. And I think that's all I have for you guys today. So have a great afternoon and a great weekend. If I don't come back over the weekend. Thanks you guys. Bye.